Hi there and welcome to the latest forecast for Scotland from the Met Office. It has been a cold start to the week for much of Scotland and there's even talk of snow for Friday morning but mainly this is a high ground issue. For many others it's further rain and there will be dribs and drabs of rain on Thursday evening but actually some decent clear spells for the north and northeast where there'll be a touch of frost, temperatures dipping close to freezing by dawn. But otherwise we've got the next area of rain moving north and as that merges with the cold air it's going to be turning increasingly wintry. Now at lower levels, rain will be the primary cause for concern, especially through the centre belt with up to 25 centimetres, 25 millimetres I should say, falling through the night. That could cause some surface water issues during the early morning rush. But uh, elsewhere, especially to the north of the centre belt and especially above say two to 300 metres, the snow will be the cause for concern. And that snow will be accumulating two to five centimetres above 250 metres. And above 300 metres, some higher routes could be affected by 10 centimetres of snow. So yellow warnings for snow and rain in force. More details on the Met Office website and app. Certainly a cold start to Friday with temperatures not far from zero up and down the country, although something a little milder there into the southwest. And it is a wet start to the day. Cold rain for many, snow over the hills across central Scotland. It all does tend to peter out through the morning with the rain and snow gradually pushing north into northern Scotland and then the snow level rising as milder air mixes in and it all turns much lighter, although there will be further showery rain turning up by the end of the afternoon as well into central and southern parts. In between, some drier interludes, but it stays very cold for the time of year in northern Scotland. Again, temperatures around the low single figures in places, whilst we're back into the double figures for parts of western and southwestern Scotland, 12 Celsius, for example, in Dumfries and Galloway. But we will see further showery rain at times. This will mostly be rain with the milder air making inroads across much of the country. And it's going to gradually push north through Friday night. Then a drier interlude before a wet start on Saturday as Storm Kathleen turns up. Now, Storm Kathleen has been named by Met Erin because of the very strong winds expected across the Republic of Ireland, as you can see by the tightly packed isobars by midday Saturday. But much of the UK will be affected by this strong south-southwesterly wind. It's going to be particularly windy across southwestern exposed parts, so Dumfries and Galloway. Combined with spring tides, we're going to see some large waves. But that wind is coming from a mild direction and it's certainly going to be importing mild rain. It's not going to feel particularly warm as we start off the weekend with some heavy rain in places. That rain moves north and lingers across the Northern Isles into the afternoon, particularly Shetland. Could take some time to clear, but elsewhere it turns brighter. There'll be showers, especially in the west. There'll also be some drier interludes with some sunshine coming through. A brighter day than many days leading up to Saturday. But it will be blustery, that wind peaking at 50 to 70 miles now for exposed southwestern parts and Dumfries and Galloway at risk of coastal flooding because of those spring tides. So very large waves out there. Watch uh, that if you're heading to the coast. But in the east and the south, where we do get some brightness out to the wind, it's going to feel a bit more pleasant. 15 to 16 Celsius. So that it will be windy. It will be a warm wind. Those showers continuing in the west through the day, though, and there'll be further showers on Sunday, although it does stay on the mild side.